Okay, so I bought this Ryobi uh, attachment a ways back, and I haven't bought this steel combi head today. And everyone online says these things will work, and here we go. It's way too tight. Obviously, something is wrong. So, when you go to the store and you look at the steel combi attachments, this little 3 16 guy in here, rod, male rod, is sticking out uh, maybe about a half of an inch out of here. There's a little rounded edge on top of it, but anyways, I'm trying to reproduce that. And we're gonna have to take some paint off of here to get this to slide in here. So here are the steps I took. You take off about five eighths of an inch off of here. Now when you're cutting this, don't cut all the way through. Obviously, you will start to cut off this little rod inside of here. So we're gonna go around this thing. Good enough. All you need is for this thing to seat on the inside of it. Stop it. So, a bunch of crap on here. You lose your little retainer pin. When this spins, this actuates. So what you want to do is hold this for a minute. On the steel comp ones, this is kind of rounded over. So we're going to hold this. Over here, we're gonna take the file. Just hit this a little bit. Round that a little bit. And just to help it start. Just on the tip. Now what we're gonna do 
go in here. We're going to measure how far this thing needs to go in here. We're going to remove that paint. So that needs to go in about that far. This is just a simple way of measuring it. Put this on here. Describe a line right there, little line. I'm not after anything precise. So I'm gonna go a little bit beyond that line when I actually remove the paint. To be on the safe side. I'll take this file. Just start going at the paint. Not doing anything perfect here. Just trying to get the bulk of it off and I'm going a little bit past my mark. Clean the file. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so now we've kind of finished going around this thing with the file, it's all roughed out. I got the bulk of the paint off. I got a piece of emery cloth here. It's uh, 150 grit. I'm just gonna start going at this. And this will really get all that crap off of there. Very boring minutes later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is make sure this goes all the way up on here. I put this in. I wanna make sure that this basically seats somewhere around the bottom down here, or this bottom's out, one of the two. So I put that in, I put it up here. I got a mark up here. It should be fairly close to that. I think this might bottom out first, which means that this is fully engaged on the inside of this thing. So one of the things I read online was that people had an issue with these stripping out. And that was because in the old Ryobi ones, it's far up in there. So we're gonna put this on and there it is, it's bottomed out. So a little 3 16 guy bottomed out in that case. Let me get this out of the vise. align this wherever I want to, tighten it down, nothing crazy, and that's that. We'll go start it up. Here it is, it's running. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 